A CONTROVERSIAL SPEECH CAUSING CHAOS AT THE UNIVERSITY OF CONNECTICUT. CONSERVATIVE COMMENTATOR LUCIAN WINTRICH GIVING THAT SPEECH TITLED, IT'S OKAY TO BE WHITE. HE IS FACING SOME PRETTY SERIOUS CHARGES FOR ALLEGEDLY ASSAULTING A STUDENT. NEWS 8'S GEORGE COLLEY IS LIVE ON THE UCON CAMPUS WITH ALL THE DETAILS. GEORGE. Well, good afternoon. And this story is getting national attention here this morning. Now, I spoke with Lucian Wintrich a few times within the last hour, including for about 20 minutes, a half hour. Uh, he's very critical of how security handled the situation. But before we get that, you can see the video. Hundreds of protesters showed up to speak out against Wintrich, interrupting him throughout his speech. At one point, a woman approaches the podium, yells at him, and grabs the papers. He says it was the only hard copy of the speech that he had. He then is seen following her up the stairs and grabbing for that for those papers, appearing to drag her backwards in the process. Now, in the conversation with him, Wintrich says that he was very disappointed with how security allowed the situation to get out of control. He says he asked security several times to keep people away from approaching him at the podium, but they did nothing. He says his speech was about calling out racism in the media, that he was condemning people like alt-right leader Richard Spencer in it. It was a speech he hoped to give at UMass Boston before his appearance got pushed back a few months. Now, this speech was put on by the Yukon Young Republicans. Wintrich says that he was also upset that many of the students in that group were not allowed into the speech, but outside protesters were. He points out that the woman that grabbed his speech was from a local community college, not Yukon. Now, Yukon President Susan Herbst did release a statement uh, earlier today saying something similar will arise here again at some point in the near future. We will need to learn from this experience and rise to that occasion. So, as I said, we did speak with Lucian. There's much more that he has to say. We're hoping to catch up with him by the end of the day before he flies back to D.C. We're also going to have more reaction from students here at UConn, hopefully some, from some of those young Republicans, as well as anything else that does come from the UConn Police Department or from Susan Herbst, the, uh, the UConn president. We'll have that coming up on the news at 5 and 6. From the UConn campus, George Colley, News 8.